I'm Manpreet and I make book related videos on this channel. If you like books or if you want some great tips related to reading, then keep watching this video and also subscribe to my channel. A lot of you have been asking me how to remember what you read. Sometimes you read a non-fiction and you know after a while it's all out from your head and even with the fictions you sometimes want to remember the story and when you cannot do that it's really irritating. Today I have 5 tips for you guys to remember what you read and I really hope these will be helpful to you. By the way this video is not only useful for the people who are into reading books just for fun or for gaining some good knowledge but also for the people who actually have to read books for school. Tip number 1 read slowly if you read a mix of non-fiction and fiction this is the most probable cause why you cannot remember what you're reading because when we read non-fiction we are supposed to go faster because you know we can literally skim the whole page and we can still get the gist out of it we can still get the useful pieces of information out of it whereas when you read a fiction the whole fun of reading fiction is when you read slowly, when you picturize something, when you visualize something and only then you can enjoy a fiction book. But in both cases, if you are struggling with remembering what you are reading, the only thing that can really work in the first place is reading slowly. Give yourself some time and also if you read with the finger on which is very useful in case of non-fiction books or your post books it will be really helpful for you. Tip number two visualize what you're reading. In case of fiction it's highly effective if you visualize what the character is like or what the setup is like and then continue reading. In that manner you will be able to actually get into that world actually know that character and remember that person and even in case of non-fiction when you have given an example just visualize that example apply it to your own life apply the visual implications of that example and then continue reading in such a manner you'll be able to actually remember that thing another way to visualize something is to make another example from the point you are already given for example there is this point in a non-fiction book and you want to remember it make some examples based on that point and I bet you'll be able to remember that point in a much better manner my tip number three is to take notes. Now I do not want to boast but I have always been a bright kid in my school and college and one of the biggest reasons why I could do that because I am not actually bright at all. I am a dumb person but I could still get good marks. I could still remember everything my teacher said or everything um, you know that was written in the book by the help of notes. I used to take notes of every single thing which was taught in the classes or which was there in my books. I always had notes, thick, thick, thick notes. And now when I read books and I also review books, I, I do the same practice. Let me give you an example how I take notes. So this is one book which I'm currently reading and it's a non-fiction book so I really need to remember what is there in there and I, I use these sticky notes and you know put up all the useful ideas over here and I do the same thing with fiction books because I have to review the books I must remember the story I must remember that one point I really want to tell in my video so I actually note it down with the help of sticky notes so taking notes really helps now there is this whole art of note making and I am pretty sure there can be a lot of useful videos on YouTube which will tell you how to make notes and I would really recommend that you find some good resources on how to make notes otherwise this note making point is not going to work for you my tip number four is to summarize what you read so once you finish a book summarize what you read summarize the story now the one reason why I actually started reviewing books was because I used to I wanted to make a summary out of it obviously I do not put you know spoilers in it but I try to give some clues and uh, you know give some clues to myself through my reviews so that I can remember what the book is actually about you on the other hand can have a separate journal or a separate blog a private blog where you can you know summarize everything you read it may be your course book it may be a fiction book a non-fiction book whatever when i used to be a kid there were some uh, you know books that were given in libraries where you used to you were supposed to note down which book you read and what you thought about it and that is precisely why i still remember that i have read some of the classics which i say i have read because literally i do not remember anything from them but now when I go to my home I'll show you in one of my vlogs when I go back home that I you know go through those notebooks and I can still remember what the novel was about so that really helps when you keep some uh, summary of what you read in some specific location where you can get back whenever you want to 
my tip number 5 is to re read it's very simple but highly effective now i do not really remember a lot of novels which i think i loved a lot i gave them like 4 or 5 stars but i do not remember them and that's why i never tell anybody that i have read those novels unless i have to so what i am planning to do is re read those books so that i can remember them again now if you are a person if you are a student you can also re read your course books that's what i used to do when there were exams before the exams i used to prepare start my preparation like 2 3 months before and i used to reread the entire chapters because that was the only way i could remember even my notes i was so dumb student but still i used to get good marks really good marks i really mean that rereading a thing truly truly helps because once you read it you try to kind of skim it but when you reread it you actually get the gist of it you actually get the meaning of it you actually get the concept of it so rereading is a must if you really want to remember what you're reading that's it guys these are my five points that truly saved my life in my entire college and school years and now also they help me review books in a better manner so i hope this video was helpful to you guys and it answered questions of some of you guys who really wanted to know how to remember what you read let me know if it was helpful to you and if you want me to uh, make some specific kind of video i am always open to your suggestions and i always try to work on them thank you so much for watching this video this is manvi signing off i'll be back with another video very soon